Now, do we need a battery or anything? I don't know. Get, kid, get out of here. You're blocking the sun. Come on, over here now. I'm blocking my sun. Beat it. Yeah, this is nice. Look at this. We have little glass windows. We can look out and see the fish. Don't touch the glass. Hey, you just smudged it. What's wrong? What's wrong with you? All right, survivors. Pauly Jr. here, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. We are. Whoops, that's not where we're going. <laughs> Come on, Robin, pay attention. Oh, dang it! She just killed something. It's always Robin's fault. Uh, base location. That's where we're headed. Right. We're gonna go build up a base today. At least in the beginning of this episode, and then maybe go and investigate some of these other locations that we have on our radar. But first, we're going to go build our base right here. It's our base location, I think, is a pretty nice spot. Uh, it's pretty open, and we have these little ice flows above us. We can build up top there, too, which seems like it might be kind of cool. I don't know. Just looks good to me. So let's park our food truck over here, hop out, and get to work. Up we go, Robin. Come on, bright and early here today. Here on planet 8675309. Alright, so we got our builder, and I got lots of materials here in my inventory. So let's get started. Um, I did a little bit of math ahead of time. <laughs> so we don't we don't screw this up. And hopefully my math is correct. Now I would like to build right over this little hole. That's kind of a cool little hole right there, huh? We can uh, have a little secret basement. So let's go ahead and whip up a multi-purpose room at six titanium. Okay, okay, okay. This has a base on it automatically. We don't have to do anything, right? Uh, we don't want it too high because I'm thinking maybe we can put multiples on top of one another. I think we can stack these things up, right? Let's just bring it over here a little. Uh, that looks good. Oh, spray it on there. Look at those little nanobots going. Something is hitting my food truck. Is somebody trying to break into my food truck? What, what, dude? What are you doing? Get out of there! It's closed. Get, hey, stop! I'll get you some food later. Okay, come back in about an hour. Sheesh, man, these penguins—they're just always hungry, always attacking the food truck. All right, what else do we have here? Well, let's just use the builder. I guess we can look here. Although this doesn't freeze time, does it? Multi-purpose room is now complete. We're gonna need a hatch to get in and out. Correct. So how about if we, um, let's put a hatch over somewhere. We're going to park our little food truck. How about, uh, put it right here. That's good. I don't want to spend too much time doing this. It's going to be very, very basic, very small. Uh, negative one base hull strength. Tool. Yeah, we can, we can reinforce it with lithium and titanium later. Dude, what I tell you, I'm going to have to park that thing somewhere else. These, uh, <laughs> these little stinkers are trying to break into the food truck. All right, that looks good so far. Let's go inside. I don't think it has power yet. We're going to have to power it up, obviously. But, oh, Warning. yeah, I see it's dark. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Oh, boy. There's no O2 in here either. There's no there's no power. So we're going to have to go get some oxygen. Let's swim on up here, and we can power it up anyway. We're going to need to do that. So, hello, everybody. <laughs> Hope you don't mind, but we're going to put, uh, thinking about putting a solar panel right here right here on this little ice flow which is here under exterior modules yeah this is gonna be perfect we'll just plop it down right here hopefully these guys don't poop on it or eat it hey get out of there kid i see you hiding behind it all right so it's not doing anything yet um oh boy here they come little curious little critters don't touch this okay it's mine if you mess with it then uh no more food for you from the food truck I think we need a power transmitter. We need gold. All right, let's go get some gold. Can we just put that right there? Sure. There we go. Now what? Oh, it's powering up. Power restored. All primary systems online. Now, do we need a battery or anything? I don't know. Get, kid, get out of here. You're blocking the sun. Come on. Over here now. I'm blocking my sun. Beat it. So there's a line right here. Apparently, the power is going down to the base. So it has a pretty decent range. Oh, here we go. Solar panel, sun, 100%. Uh-oh, he's dead. He's dead. Did I do that? Oh, no, he's fine. Never mind. Oh, great. Here comes mom. Here comes dad. We gotta go. Charge 75 out of 75 looks good. And then the line goes down here, so it provides remote power. It's like Bluetooth or something. Let's go inside. Oh, yeah. Welcome aboard, Captain. <gasps> Thanks, ma'am. Um... I used to have a name for her, but I don't remember what it was. If you guys remember, put it down in the comments. And keep those likes coming, and the feedback, and the tips, and the tricks. Very, very helpful. 
Let's let's make another multi-purpose room off the back here. Multi-purpose room. Can these just connect? I know we can stack them, but I don't want to stack it just yet. I want to try to get this thing to connect. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Squirt that on there. <laughs> or wait, better yet, better yet. Can we do this? I would like to have a glass, um, a glass component coming out the back. That'll look nice, right? Whoop, I guess we're I guess we're doing it. That was a mistake. <laughs> Accidental discharge there with the trigger. And now the multi-purpose room on the end. Can we do that? Yeah, boy. There we go. This is gonna look beautiful. And done. I love how the materials tick down. Oh, how does that even stay up like that? This one does not have any legs. I wonder how what the uh, integrity is right now. <laughs> but that's cool. Can we make like a pipe? Or tube going all the way down there into the hole. We'll have a basement. The secret basement where we keep all our little penguin kids. Do weird experiments on them or something. Yeah, this is nice. Look at this. We have little glass windows. We can look out and see the fish. Don't touch the glass. Hey, you just smudged it. What's wrong, What's wrong with you? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not so happy about this location. Maybe we got too many penguins and too many fish. I think we're rubbing their noses all over everything. Let's get some decoration and some furniture in here. How about a nice desk? We'll put a work desk in. Uh, we'll put it right here. Right here, up against the wall. This is where we come in and do our work. In the beginning of the day. Um, let's go ahead and put in a battery charger and a modification station. We want the battery charger so we can start recharging batteries for all of our little devices. Very nice. We just have to go get those spent batteries. I think they're back at the little pod. And a modification station. So I have everything we need for this. I can't put that on the desk, huh? All right, let's put a little modification station over. Can I put this in the corner somewhere? Right there. I'm pretty sure we can break this stuff down and get everything back, right? I think so. I'm not entirely sure about that. All right, let's try this thing. Modification station, thermal blade. Oh, we need a battery for that, but we definitely want to do it. And we got the new sea truck depth upgrades here. Really, really nice. We don't have any rubies or synthetic fibers, so that's going to be uh, it's going to be down the road at some point. But we'll leave that right there. And the last thing, the most important thing, is a coffee vending machine. <laughs> Let's put the coffee vending machine over here, right there. Fantastic. Ooh. The sweet scent of dirty bean water. Dirty bean water. You don't know what you're missing, lady. You really don't. So what do we do here? Oh, wait. Oh, 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 wait. We can make a cup or we can go get our, um, hold on. We have a thermos on the food truck. As long as the, uh, penguins didn't steal it on us. Right here in the gear. Right there. Let's grab a battery. We can make the, um, we can make that, uh, thermal blade. All right. Fantastic. I think this is how this works, right? Put the thermos in there. Yeah. And then, oh, it's making it. It's making the coffee. Mmm. Dirty bean water. <laughs> oh, look at it. You can see it. You can see it coming out. But there's nothing there to catch it. Uh, maybe this is not how it works. Coffee completed. Thank you, little feller. We got it. We got it. And it's, uh, wow, it adds plus 50 body heat. Minus 2 H2O. Oh, I wonder how long it stays hot. Maybe forever. That's going to be great when we're out exploring in the cold, frozen wastelands, right? Very, very cool. Let's go get some posters and hang them up. I'm just going to put them up anywhere for now. We'll move them around later. They can be moved very easily. And then we want the keep calm one right here while we're working. Keep keep calm and truck on. Uh, and a framed picture. It'd be nice right here on the desk. I don't even know these people. Oh, oh, wait a second. Someone said to, to scan this. We can scan it. Ooh, we can scan the framed picture of a penguin. Sam's spy penguin drawing. Oh, wait a second. I think this is important. Spy penguin. Thanks for everything, Fred. Yes, we're going to be able to make a spy penguin. Some kind of robotic penguin thing. Or maybe um, cybernetic. I don't know. <laughs> maybe that's the experimentation we're going to be doing down in our secret basement. Turning little penguins into uh, cyber penguins. All right, well, there we go. Is that everything? Oh, we have Fred's um, shaving kit, which is just something we can put down here for now, but put it in the bedroom eventually, but that's fine right there. All right, it's so homey. It is so homey. Now, let's make our kniffy over here. Can we do it? Yeah, thermal blade me. Oh, this thing is amazing. 
So I think with this we can stab a fish and, and it cooks it immediately. Let's go try it out. There's a fishy right here. Oh, 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 oh dang it. Alright, let's let him go. Come on, go. You're free. Sort of. Hey, no, let go. I want to stab you. <laughs> I don't want to pick you up. Alright, you should be cooked. Man, these things pretty quick. Yeah, we cooked them just like that with a knife. 23 food and H2O3. It's going to be handy for the food truck, huh? Ooh, what is all this? This is our secret basement, I think. Yeah, it's nice. Ooh, ooh I can scan something. No, 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 not that. Kelp root. Can we eat it? Um, can we eat it? Harvestable for resources and fabrication. No kidding. All right, stab it with the knife. Oh, we need to find the pustules. Pustules along the stem. Okay. So you can't just cut the kelp off. You need to find the pustules that are down here somewhere, maybe. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Here's some O2. And I think I see... I think I see a pustule. Is that a pustule? Oh, it's a pustule. All right, we got it. Okay, let's grab a couple pustules. We've got to make lockers in the base now, too. Okay, I'm back on the base here. Um, I put a couple of finishing touches, at least for the time being. I put two lockers here, both currently empty. I put a uh, fabricator here above the desk. That's where we do all the work. And I've got two glass lockers over here that are very, very large. They hold all kinds of goodies. So, it's now time to go. Let's head over to the... Uh, pilot's last known location. I think that's probably going to be a priority. And maybe we'll get a prawn suit uh, blueprint. That would be very nice. And I actually have to go back to Delta 2 because I think I missed something there. Someone had mentioned in the comments that I need to go to the end of the cave to the left. And I'm going to find something very important to scan there. So let's go there first and see what's up. And then we can go to the pilot's last known location. We also have the ancient artifact locations that we have to investigate there's two of them and a couple of uh supply caches so we'll get to it all eventually but one thing at a time i wanted to get that base up and going i still have to move all the materials over because there's a lot of stuff i left behind at the other base oh boy shut off the light something here something large and screamy let's go down look at that shadow wall oh boy is it coming after us uh i think we're good Oh, what is that thing? Oh, hi. You're new. What's your name? Oh, sorry. Eh. Hold on. I'm going to check that out. i got to check that out. Something different. Oh, there he is. This guy floats. What is it? It's a feather fish. It's old. Can I scan it? Maybe I've already seen one of these before? I don't know. I don't know. We'll add it to the menu in the food truck. Let's grab some salt and see if we can cook this thing up. Oh, yeah. Cured feather fish. Sure, let's do it. Throw that with the other munchies. 23 food. Definitely tickles the back of the throat. All right, that'll be fun. Okay, we're back at Delta. Now, it's my understanding there's something underneath Delta as well. Like, um, I don't know if it's a base or what have you, but I'm pretty sure there's something that we need to go down and find eventually. It's not on the radar at the moment, so I think we're going to not do it. But let's... um. Let's go see what I missed over here. Someone said I missed a poster as well in one of the Delta stations. I'm not sure it's really worth going back for that. But apparently there's something over here to the left in the cave. So let's go to the left, which is Lisa Way. Yeah, I don't think I've been here before. This does not look familiar. Oh, here's something to scan. It's a blue scrub brush. That can't be it. That can't be it. That doesn't do anything special. All right, let's keep going. Looks like there's more cave over in this direction. Get my knife out just in case we get waylaid by some bandits. I gotta remember to get my flashlight. Yeah, we have not been here. This is all new. This is definitely new. Uh, penguins over there. This is like a penguin cave. Not sure what I'm supposed to scan here. Oh, oh, ho, ho. What you found is more than just an artifact. It will help me follow the traces my people left on this planet. I'm glad it could help. I know you would still prefer me to have a corporeal form of my own. Well, yes. If you continue searching, I may regain some of my connection to the network, piece by piece. Okay, well, that's Alan. 
Alan wants us to scan this. Let's scan it. It's an, it's an architect artifact. This one was not on our radar. That's interesting. We got one over there. We have to go scan, and then another one way down there. Actually, pretty close. Let's grab some of these scrub nuts. Shrub nuts, whatever the heck they are. Actually, pretty tasty, and they do heal. Mm. Want to get those growing back at the base. Grab a couple more for the food truck. Another, uh, another new offering. So we have scanned this thing, and what does this do for us? Alien data, material analysis station. Resembling a human electron microscope or mass spectrometer. Oh, mass spectrometer from, like, uh, from Half-Life. <laughs> this tool appears to be designed for the purpose of analyzing physical raw materials. It is speculated that the scanning apparatus might be designed to collect small-scale DNA uh, recipes for the replication of non-living objects. So we, we need to get Alan... A body. Alan wants a bud day. All right, let's get back to the sub, old food truck, and uh, we'll go find this pilot person. Oh, back on food truck, and I'm getting a phone call. Let's get it. How Hello. How do people communicate if you are not networked? What do you mean? We just talk to each other. Do you not find that primitive? We exist as data. We are all aware of each other's thoughts and needs. Scientific endeavors are accomplished much more smoothly this way. There's more to life than research, Alan. I can't lie. Work would go faster if I could read my colleagues' minds, but thoughts are private, and people have their own inner lives. People change and need space to think. Space helps you think. I find that being separated from my network is very quiet. What, what do you mean by quiet? Imagine a thousand strings, each playing its own range of notes, none louder than the others. Each one builds harmony, a continuous thrum in the background of existence. I am now a lone string in search of familiar harmonies. I'll help you find them. All right, back at Delta Station. I was just curious to see what I missed, if I missed something. Somebody said I missed something. Let's get our flashlight out. Uh, somebody in the comments said I missed a poster. Did I? Oh, I got the map. Got everything here, as far as I can tell. Oh, wait, I didn't scan something here. What is it? Oh. Wall shells. All right. It was worth it. Anything else that I missed? Let's go check the other building. The weather's getting pretty stormy out here. I mean, might as well do this right now anyway, because it is nighttime. Not much else to do. All right. Oh, oh. Cushy setup. Must belong to one of those higher uppers. Wait a minute. Did I not scan Maybe this already? I can find clues about Sam here. What the heck? Why am I doing this again? I've been here once before. All right, I'm back. Back on the food truck and something very, very strange just happened. I just had deja vu up at the uh, Delta base, the second, um, the second room where the executive lived and I just scanned the observatory um, and a couple of other things there like the, oh yeah, the chic plant pot, the basic plant pot and the aquarium and I know I did all that in the last episode I know for a fact so this is very strange it's like I've gone back in time and I had to do the whole thing again the executive toy the wall shelves um, so I, I think I messed up my uh, my save files because I think what I think what happened was in the last after the last episode I reloaded an older save with the um, when I was back at Delta before I had scanned all that stuff and I did that to get a screenshot of Delta because um, I needed a screenshot of Delta for the video <laughs> and I forgot to restore the um, the proper file for this episode I know it sounds confusing but I do I do keep a lot of backups and I do a lot of file shuffling during the uh, during the playthroughs and after and before and so forth so I just I just messed up all right, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Sorry. Anyway, I think we're back to where we should be. And I've got everything scanned once again. And oh my gosh, what is going on here? 
Uh, my light on? No. Okay, we want to avoid these guys. This is kind of a new biome. We got lead and quartz, which is very nice to have. So I'm going to go grab some more while we're here. And hopefully these freakazoids don't come over here and mess me up. Oh, this is lithium. Okay, lithium is good, 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 good stuff to have for batteries and such, right? Okay. That's good. Let's go. So, yeah, that's why you didn't see, like, the observatory and the toy, the executive bed and desk, and my uh, my building um, menu when I was building the base. The All right, now. stone of an astronautical salt go vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. Inoperative. Mercury 2? That's a spaceship, right? Did it crash? It's inoperative. It's down here somewhere. Um, did you put it on my radar screen here, lady? No. I don't have a waypoint to it, but it's around here somewhere. I need to make a beacon. Ooh, here's some stuff. I'm not sure what piece that is from. Looks like maybe a sea truck. Let me go scan it just in case. Don't want to miss anything. Oh, it's an aquarium module! Yes, it is a sea truck piece. And it's the one we want. The aquarium. Then we can put all our fresh fish in there. <laughs> Instead of in a locker. <laughs> just have to find the rest of it. We need two more pieces of the aquarium module. Awesome. It's gotta be down here somewhere. Alright, we're not gonna go in there. I don't, it's kind of a tight squeeze. Whoa! Beep beep. Oh, this is cool. These are the islands. Floating island thingies. Looks like we can go explore down there, but I, I kind of want to go over here first. Oh! Oh! Oh, that was cool! That was a neat way to eat. Who's this guy? Oh! Wait a second. I think there's something out there. But I want to scan this guy. Oh, look at this a thing. It's a big thing. Oh gosh, that's that squiddy shark thing. It's a newt fish. I thought it said not a fish. <laughs> oh, hey, oh no. Squiddy, let me go. Oh, you. All right, time to go. Never mind. I'm going to get out of here. I'll scan not a fish later. All right, beep beep. Let's beat it. Let's go check this thing out. It's like a big um, radar dish or something. Is that man-made? Wait a minute. I'm not sure if that's man-made or alien-made or if it's natural. I think it's a natural thing. All right, well, let's go. Let's go down here where the pilot was. Okay, this is definitely alien make. I recognize that from the previous game. Whoa. Oh, hey! Somebody's knocking. We're closed right now. More important things to do. Alright, this guy is trying to eat the ship. Hey, cut it out. Something I want to scan right here. Let's see if we can sneak out without that guy seeing. Go, Robin, go! Yes, aquarium module. Sweet! That's two. We need one more. We can get our aquarium. A lot of quartz around here. This is very nice. Ooh, blooming raindrops. Those are pretty. I'll read about those later. All right, one more fragment. One more fragment, and we can get the aquarium. It's got to be down here somewhere. I guarantee it. Oh, hold on. We got a uh, sea monkey nest. What's in there? Afterburner. Speed upgrade. One of two. Uh, is that what I think it is? <laughs> it's a ruby. Oh, I should have scanned it. All right, we'll get more. Got to be more rubies around here. If there's one ruby, there's going to be more. There's one. This isn't a trap, is it? I don't want that spiky thing to come out and grab me. <laughs> we should probably heal up. Oh, hi. What you got? Give that. Yeah, let's heal up. There we go. Back up to 100%. Radiant sieve coral. Nice. All right, we'll read about this later. Oh, lily pad root. Yeah, we can't read here. It's getting... Uh, oh, boy, we're going to go. 
We gotta go. I'm gonna get back to food truck. Running out of oxygen. Still didn't get that last One bit. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, I know. I left the lights on. Okay, let's go. There's more to explore here, and we will come back. But right now, I think I want to go and find where this pilot is. Where's the pilot at? Yeah, I want to go see if this pilot's around. It's like right here. Last known location. Looks like maybe we have to go down inside this hole. After all. I do believe. Okay. Well, if that's how it's going to be, then that's how it's going to be. I'm going to have to leave the food truck here and go out on foot. Very well. Hopefully they don't mess with the food truck. Oh, boy. Okay. I think we're clear. Let me dump some stuff out. Got our rubies. That's super nice. And I think we should grab some munchies. Do we have everything we need? Um, sea glide. Battery's a little low, but we should be fine. <laughs> oh, boy. Go down into the hole. Can I get through here? Oh, dang it. Got me again. Drat. Let go. Oh, you. You're so mean, dude. Squid shark. Now I'm going to scan you. You don't like it, do you? Too bad. All right, now... Let's see, can we squeeze through here? Yay, now I think we're safe. Fallen lily pad, so it is natural. It's all natural. Very nice. Let's go see if we can find this stranger. Down here somewhere. Some oxygen. Yeah, so we were literally just here. <laughs> Capacity. Hey, hey, stop pushing. I'm trying to scan this thing. Oh, silver ore. Ooh, special equipment needed to mine that green turnian yeah this is all new very cool hi titanium really you could do better than that okay we need some oxygen Let's see if there's any more there's another ruby but we gotta find the lady she's down here somewhere i guarantee it okay this is the spot right here so we just go straight down maybe you guys see anything weird here? Um, other than all the weird stuff down here? Oh, we got a we got an arm of some kind. Grappling arm for the um, bronze suit. Oh, that's super duper nice. Detecting uh -huh. bow of an astronautical Saltrans go vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. Inoperative. Mercury 2, that's a spaceship. We have a poster of it back at the base. This is it. Man, we're right on top of it now. Okay, I wonder if that pilot is around the ruin somewhere. I'm glad it's not too deep. So we can scan it while we're in the uh, food truck. Okay, but I am going to have to get out and scan that right there because that looks very enticing. I've got something swimming around here. It's not very friendly. It's a bronze suit fragment! Woohoo! Yeah, getting all the fragments now. Bronze suit mark three. One of four. Wow, we need a lot of those. What are these little things? Nothing. Oh, here we go. Metal salvage. Oh. What's metal salvage? Oh, I remember that stuff. That goes back to the old game. I think we can break that down into um into titanium. Right, let's use our little sea glide here. See what else is inside. Oh yeah, we can go right in. Hopefully there's nothing nasty in here. Uh supply crates. What are these? Chinese potatoes. Nice. Get a potato farm going. More. Are these big? Oh, they're big. Alright, we don't need all of them. Let's um let's just save two. Hopefully we can eat those. I mean, they've been in there a long time. <laughs> it's a red feather fish. Scan them and grab them. So beautiful. And here's the rest of the prawn suit, I hope. New creature discovered. Yep, I know. Prawn suit fragment. Drill arm. Okay, this is a very, very good find. And another prawn suit fragment. Need one more prawn suit fragment, and then we get the whole dang thing. 
cut open to access. Oh, dang it. We never got the drill. I only got one piece of the drill so far. Uh, not the drill, the cutter. We need two more pieces to find of the cutter. Uh, can we get through here? Oh, yeah, sure we can. I don't like it down here. It's kind of scary. More salvage. There's a supply crate. Bad tree. Let's get our flashlight out. Crank it up. What is this little thing? Oh, it's an arrow ray. Cool. Let's scan him. Add him to the menu. Gotcha. New creature discovered. Yep. Indeed. Oh, we got the bunks here. Oh, there's a PDA in a bunk. Thruster well, damage. We landed safely, despite my apprehension. Diana, damned adrenaline junkie, took one of her defining risks and it paid off. Why hire me as the maintenance engineering officer if you aren't going to listen to that advice? <laughs> oh, Papa. I didn't go to school for eight years and get three degrees for nothing. I tried to convince Diana that we don't need to stop for repairs. That's what the drift drive and the secondary propulsion system are for. It's just a bit slower. But she's in charge, not me. On the plus side, I get to work with Yasmin. I didn't know she was such a busybody. She's been going around the whole ship giving folks a hand. I think she was getting on Diana's nerves, so she assigned Yasmin to me. She's helping me inspect and repair the thruster systems. I thought I was the most mechanically inclined person on the ship, but I think she has me beat. She can definitely teach me a thing or two. As long as I don't get too distracted by her smile. <sighs> She's got the best smile. <laughs> Focus on the work, buddy. Look at where he got you. Underwater. They crashed because he didn't work on the thrusters properly or something. All right, we got copper. We got titanium here. This is a pretty nice little cave for all the uh, the ore. So there's the, there's the not a fish. All right, grab him. We'll add him to the not a fish menu. New creature discovered. All right, we gotta we gotta get out of here. Oh, good oxygen. Okay, um, let's go back up into the ship. I think there's more here. I, I don't know where I've been or where I haven't been. What is this thing? I'm scanning something. Oh, it's a processing unit. Parallel processing unit. Fragment, whatever that is. <laughs> Sounds important. Ooh, can I go in here? This, this seems like a really bad idea with 54 oxygen units. Oh, wow. Look at all this. But I need O2. Oh, I can't get through that door. Oh, this is bad. Oh, here we go. All right, yeah, I'm going to need that laser cutter thing to get through here. Ugh. And right now, this is bad news. I need to go. Let's get back to the food truck. How did I get in here? Yeah, I need I need oxygen. I can't do that room right now. There's more to scan there. There's definitely more to see, but I got to get out of here. I got to get to... Uh, I need some oxygen. Quick, 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 quick. Ah, stuck. This is bad. There's no more oxygen anywhere. Help? Oxygen. Okay, grab that. Yeah, I, I know. I don't see any more oxygen. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we just got to get out of here. I don't know how. <laughs> Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I know. I'm trying to get out. Don't know how the heck I got in here. Okay. Um, don't panic. Don't panic. We got a little oxygen here. Just have to find the exit. I feel like I'm going around in circles. My instincts are never wrong. Stephanos has always been overly cautious. He hates taking risks, which I suppose is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. But no risk, no reward. Elliot finds evidence of alien architecture on a completely uncharted planet, and he expects me to ignore that? <laughs> Orion's belt, I would be an absolute fool. We've done some scans, and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet, there is decent biodiversity. Teams go out in the morning. This should be a significant specimen and sample hall for biopatenting which will be split among the crew as part of the discovery clause. Let's see Stephanos and everyone else complain when they have a few more Soul Transgov credits in their uniform pockets. 
They'll learn to trust my instincts at some point. Okay, I'm totally lost. I can't get out of here. I'm just sucking down whatever oxygen I can find. Um, trying to find my way out. This goes back down here. That's kind of like a dead end. I think. A little oxygen down here. That helps. And it goes right back up again. So, yeah. I'm probably going to die down here. And I don't know what's going to happen when I die. Ooh, reinforced dive suit fragment. Got it. Okay. Better than nothing. Before I die, I'm grabbing as much as I can because I have a feeling it's inevitable because I don't know how to get out of here. Ooh, so oxygen. Oh, I think I made it. I think I made it. I think I made it. Ooh, yes. Oh, my God. I have no idea how I found my way out of that thing. <laughs> the place is scary. It's a crazy, dark, confusing maze. Oh. All right, we're going to call it quits right here after that very intense um, flight from the maze. And we will be back in the next episode. I will summarize all of the logs, etc. We'll, well, we'll play the voice logs again in the next episode. I'm going to try to find the rest of the fragments that we have discovered so far of the, um, the prawn suit and that kind of thing. Got to be around here somewhere. I mean, I won't look too hard, but maybe it's right in front of my nose. So, yeah, let's call it quits for here uh, for right now, my friends. And we'll be back in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.